Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna explore one of a, another new nodes inside Spreadshop. So basically, it's called Pen Object Along Surface, and from the name, you already know. Okay, that's supposed to do like a like a bending of surface um, along another mesh. So the premise is basically like this. This is like the the whole setup is already uh, uh, ready to be demonstrated. But basically, if you have like uh, this hexagrid, which is uh, basically just a plain hexagrid like that, that you can you can change it in any way you like. Um, you can easily turn that into this guy right here, and currently it's uh, it's super small and you can't really see nothing much. But basically. It is actually already bending based on this surface, the yellow color one. So here I could actually increase the number of points. Um, and I think the more points you have, <clears throat> um, the more uh, the, the surface will bend to follow those points. And and you can, as usual, you can you can randomize the randomize the points and it's uh, in this for this one it's causing the other surface to bend along this surface so let me actually do a quick breakdown so this is the nodes that are responsible for that these nodes um, there's a slightly trickiness currently we need to do the the data list splitting here I think if I didn't split the data it's it's not gonna work let me save it first so first of all, like I said, we started with uh, this hexa hexa grid, some kind of mass objects, which is flat, and I also have this bunch of points. Uh, the bunch of points is something that I will break down real quick. So this is just a factor p field, and factor p field is basically just like a, like that. It's looking like that, and Currently, it doesn't have size Z. Size Z is just like a one, so we only have like a flat um, array of vector points in X and Y, and the X and Y is currently being controlled by this number, ten by ten. So we have one hundred points, and then this vector P field goes inside the vector noise, and it is generating. Um, currently set to scalar, so scalar, so it is generating this. Um, value for each point is gonna create a random value between I think between minus one and one I don't know uh, you can check it out using stethoscope those are the values create uh, being generated on the fly using the vector noise It's based on this uh, vector P field points so we can randomize the seed here so this guy is now being used inside factory rewire. So I'm using this uh these nodes to kind of push these points up and down. But you can use um other method. But this is uh, one of the easiest way. So factor p field and factor noise combine them together using factor rewire. You're actually gonna get um, these points. If I just plug these points into the band object, it's uh, if I'm not wrong, it doesn't actually work. Oh, it is actually kind of working now, and we don't need to use list split anymore. That's interesting. But just in case it doesn't work, you need to use list split. So that's one thing, and so let's see the final result. Okay, the points actually is working there. Yeah, like I said, we need to actually split it. So list split will help these nodes to work. And the split is actually need to match the number of points in the grid. So that's why I, I connect that to that guy. And then now you can see the hexagon the hexagrid is now following the surface, 
that's uh, being affected by the noise. So it's just like that. That's the that's the premise of the nodes. But you can do a lot with this uh, bend objects along surface. Actually, um, I might actually revisit this node again with a more advanced example. But this is one of the the easiest example I could kind of uh, give it to you. Um, but have a look at the Sphere Chalk um, GitHub, and then they have some examples of these nodes um, from the developer. It's very, very interesting, I think. Something that you can use uh, for, you know, architects kind of uh, kind of work, or design kind of works. This is really cool. It's like, um, I think, Grasshopper for Rhino uh, to do parametric design has this node, something similar. Um, I think Blender might also have uh, similar nodes, uh, similar uh, similar modifier to bend objects along surface. And once you bend the objects, of course you can you can do do more like a extrude extrude region, for example. Just um, connect this guy, that guy, and let's do some kind of extrusion along the normal baby so this one so interestingly this one actually see it doesn't work or yeah that's something I need to investigate but I think you can solidify it sometimes you might need to check the data here whether it is like uh, the data that's uh, can be used it might be that we need to mesh join it so Ben object mesh join Yeah. That's kind of interesting. But anyway, you can always, you know, join them together and then use solidify, adjust thickness, and then you have that. And you can always adjust further. There you go, that's uh, another um, Sphere Chalk Nodes live noting. Hopefully you find this useful and enjoyable. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next, uh, next time. Thank you.